This is the Fit Finder or a half gauge. It's a really simple tool from MicroG that allows you to find the halfway point or the half thickness of any piece of stock. It is basically based on the Pythagorean theorem, which you don't really need to understand. You just need to know that whatever distance there is between the base and this part here is duplicated in half in this section here. There's all kinds of applications in joinery where you need to find the halfway point in some stock. The most obvious one to me is a half lap where you are overlapping two pieces of timber by cutting a notch or a rebate to their halfway point. Now, you could measure this stock, figure out what the thickness was, calculate it, obviously um, get that halfway point and then set your table saw or your router bit accordingly. But this just makes it quicker. It means you don't necessarily need to know the thickness of your stock. And I think what's more important is it gives you an automatic reference for that halfway point. It's very easy, like, you know, this is 40 mil stock, obviously the halfway point is going to be 20 mil. But then if you don't have a 20 mil gauge or something that you can then set the height of the router bit for the saw blade, um, that can make it more difficult. It's often really fiddly to try and set your um, calipers or whatever you want to use right up next to the router bit to try and get that exact depth. Quick demonstration. You loosen these knobs off just slightly at the back so that they can slide like that. These pieces should move, move freely, they're not too loose. We're then gonna put this flat on whatever your um, table is that you're using. We're gonna line up this foot here with the stock that you wanna measure. You don't need to know what that thickness is, you just need to place it on top of the stock there. And then this second foot is what gives you your halfway point. So you can then lock that off. You can use this foot to mark that height if you want to. But the more accurate way that I've found is you flip this over and use it like a marking gauge. So then you can actually rule your line along the back of this device here. So you'll see that's sitting on the halfway point there. We're using the base as the marking gauge. That's one way of marking your stock. If you want to use this device to set the height of your router bit, you lock those screws off like I have, you set it on the router table, and then you raise up your router to the height that you need to be. Just unlock this. So I'll bring that up. I'm just moving this slightly so I can see when it's just touching. Yeah, that's just touching there. Drop it down a fraction. Then we can use that exact height to clean off these rebates here. Obviously using a fence or, or some other way of making this neatly. I actually cut these on the table saw. The principle is exactly the same. You line up the blade, with that second foot to give you that halfway point. So really simple to use, um, can be used in a variety of applications. Another one that's really common is I regularly need to find the center point of round stock if I want to throw it on the lathe, or square stock if I want to throw it on the lathe. Exactly the same principle, loosen these knobs off slightly, place the fit finder onto that stock, tighten the knobs up, and then again, use it like a marking gauge, draw, two opposing lines and you have the center of that stock. This means you can then, you know, punch a little divot in there, put that straight onto the lathe or whatever else you need to do. So look, it does one job, does it really well. It finds that halfway point and it sets the blade to that height. You can also really simply use it on um, the bandsaw by putting this base up against your fence and then aligning your blade with that small foot there. And that would mean that you could rip a piece of stock in half if you were trying to make, you know, book, book matched pieces of veneer, or you needed to rip a um, big chunk of stock in half just to create uh, smaller pieces. Simple, 
It's actually more accurate than I thought it would be when I first picked it up. It's a solid plastic, but it's still plastic, but there's, there's really no flex in it. Once it's tightened down, it locks in place really well. And this cut was done using this device as the height setting. And it's a, it's a very accurate, smooth um, joint there. There's really no ridge at all, which means it's been cut to the right height. So simple piece of kit, does its job very well. Is going to save some time in a variety of applications, and you know, I think it's a handy thing to have around the shop.